Hey everyone, and welcome to this week's edition of Cooking with Amy. And it looks like we have a lot of stuff going on, and we actually don't. We just happen to be using some really good things. This is an exclusive recipe that I have been working on, so you guys are in on it. Um, we have a few things, there's some tips and tricks that I'm gonna share with you guys today. Um, and we're gonna be using some different things that we normally wouldn't do. Uh, I'm using the Mix Master today because we are making a lemon pound cake. Um, but we're actually gonna be using cottage cheese and a bit of Greek yogurt in the pound cake. We're also gonna be using one of our new products, which is the lemon cello. We're gonna add, be adding some of this as well, and I'm very excited to be sharing this recipe with you. Like I said, this is a recipe I've been trying, um, and it's, so it's an exclusive recipe that you guys are gonna get. Um, so the very first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna use the mixer, and we're gonna actually take a container of cottage cheese, um, and we are just going to blend it down completely so it is smooth, uh, similar to what a ricotta would be. Um, this recipe you can use ricotta as well. I mean, who doesn't love ricotta? Uh, I, I love ricotta. Um, so we're gonna take the container of cottage cheese and we're just gonna put it all in. Now, I normally use a high fat cottage cheese, so 2% or better. I also, when it comes to cottage cheese and baking with it or cooking with it, I don't spend a lot of money on my cottage cheese. So I'm using a no-name brand of some kind. I love the yellow label one, the one from Superstore or No Frills where you can save money. Um, I love that one because you actually can't tell the difference once we puree it completely. Uh, and we're also going to add about a quarter of a cup of Greek yogurt um, to this mixture as well. So I'm using the small measure all cup, the one that is a one cupper. I'm gonna be moving it to the quarter cup. And, oh, this one is upside down. Apparently I put it in the cover backwards. There we go. All right, and I'm going to put the Greek yogurt and mix the two together. And that is going to be the secret ingredient for today's lemon pound cake. Uh, why are we doing lemon pound cake today? Um, a, I absolutely love lemon. So if you are a fan of lemon, you are in the right place. Uh, I also have a ton of lemons left over from my big party this weekend. Uh, I've already got them cut up. I've got them in my little storage uh, container. Um, we're gonna actually squeeze these out because I don't want them to go to waste. We're gonna zest some lemons, and like I said, we're gonna be using some lemon cello as well. So I'm just gonna put the lid on my blender and I'm just pulsing it. So if you don't have the Pamper Chef blender, that's okay. If you've got that other one with that weird other name, that's okay. If you have a regular, just regular old blender, pulse it, okay? You want it to be smooth. I'm gonna stir it up a little bit. Okay. I want it to be very, very smooth. I don't want any chunks in it. I don't want us to know that there's cottage cheese. How about that? Okay. Cottage cheese fan, 
you're seeing this, you're just jumping on now and you're freaked out, don't be, I promise. smooth there are no chunks no chunks have been hurt or harmed in the making of this okay so that's going to be our secret ingredient um, we are going to be using the mixer today so if you have a stand mixer you go ahead and use that if you don't have a stand mixer uh, that's okay you can use a hand mixer if you don't have either one of those you're just going to be stirring more than the average bear if you do have it Okay, so we're going to take our bowl, and the very thing, first thing we're going to do is we're going to take um, the butter and the um, sugar. Now, we're going to be using a room temperature butter. Uh, fun fact, I forgot to take mine out. I'm going to show you what I did here, is I just took a bowl, and I put it in the microwave for about one minute. Then I put my butter in it and put the lid on it, and now it softens the butter. The butter is softened, but it will not uh, completely melt the butter, and that's what I wanted. So I'm gonna put the butter in there, and I'm gonna put three quarters of a cup of sugar in my bowl, and I'm gonna mix that up for about two minutes, okay? Oh my goodness, apparently I'm too short. Goodness, there, sheesh. All right, and then I'm gonna turn my knob to mix, sorry, cream, there we go, and I'm gonna cream that together. So I'm gonna, the butter and the sugar, about two minutes, okay? Check out my new gorgeous scoop, I don't know if you guys did see it, this is in the new spring launch. Uh, this does up to one cup, so I just did three quarters of a cup of sugar in there. Absolutely love it, okay? After this creams for about two minutes, we're going to add the cottage cheese mixture, and I need about one cup of that, okay? So I'm going to use my other measure all cup, and I'm going to put it to the one cup, okay? There it is, right in front of me. And I'm gonna take a cup of our mixture, measuring that out. Okay, so 
we're gonna put that there. So we've got our wet ingredients. We're gonna be adding our eggs next. Um, so we're gonna add the eggs and then we're gonna add a quarter of a cup of the lemon juice and some lemon zest, okay? So this morning I actually already went live. I did another live earlier uh, with my group, my networking group, and I had to use an egg for um, an egg wash. So I have a, um, the, the one egg from the egg wash and then the two eggs, and they're happening here now. So I'm gonna close this back up I'm gonna start it again, and I'm just gonna use it custom for one minute, and I'm just slowly gonna add the egg one at a time to the mixture, okay? Just give this a really light, a really light mix. We don't want to over mix anything when it comes to this. It is like any bread. Any batter that you're doing, you don't want to over mix and you don't want to over break up your eggs. So you want to do this as slowly as possible. So I'm going to leave that there for now. I am going to scrape again my uh, paddle and scrape that down. And I'm going to leave that now. Okay. Oh. Murphy's Law. All right. This is going to be for our dry ingredients in a minute. Okay. So we need to have, um, how much did I say? I need to have a quarter of a cup of lemon juice. Uh, and now I'm going to add that and the zest of a lemon. So I am going to squeeze out with my citrus press. My dogs are such jerks on Wednesdays. Uh, I'm going to squeeze out the juice of these lemons into this measuring cup because again, I don't want to waste any of the juice that I have. I should have just left. There we go. Uh, these are already cut. You know what else is cut? My hand. And so lemon juice in your cups feel absolutely great. Okay, just squeeze that. Okay. Fun fact, you can then take your lemon peels, everything else that's left, add uh, some water to that. Uh, great for cleaning. If you take and you put it into your microwave for um, a couple minutes, you get the oils from the rind, you get the excess juice and uh, great for cleaning, great for steaming. Okay. I don't want to waste any of that, so I'm going to save those for after and do just that. We had a big party here on Saturday night, so I had tons of limes and lemons cut up. see what we're doing here. So we need a quarter of a cup of that and then we're going to take the rind as well. A quarter cup of lemon juice. Amazing. Oh my god, I couldn't have done that any better if I tried. And I'm going to take some of our new limoncello. I'm also going to add that to it. Now our limoncello is double strength. So I don't want to add too much and there is some sugar in the limoncello. Because of that, I have cut the sugar down in this recipe as well. So if you do not have any of the limoncello in stock, which majority of you are not, because it just came out, then you're just gonna use the three quarters of a cup of sugar, but today we're gonna to use the half of a cup uh, instead of a quarter of a cup. And then I'm going to take the lemon, I'm going to zest a lemon, and I'm just gonna zest it right over top of this bowl. And 
And because we're using the zest of a lemon, you want to make sure that these lemons are organic, that the skin is clean, and that you know where the lemons came from. And again, that's why I suggest the organic lemons. They've got the better flavor when it comes to zesting your lemons. Okay, so we're just gonna mix the lemon juice, the lemon zest, and a bit of the lemon cello. And we're just gonna mix that in together. And we're going to need the zest of another lemon for our uh, icing afterwards. So I'm gonna leave this out. Okay, so I'm now just gonna mix that slowly. And while that's mixing, uh, we're gonna start weighing out our flour, okay? So, got lemon juice all over, which is okay. Um, it smells incredible, so I never argue about that, that's for sure. Okay, so while that's going on, I am going to add uh, 200 and, where do I have it written? 203 grams of flour, and then I'm gonna sift the flour right into the mixer. Okay, so 203 grams. And I've talked to you guys a little bit about why I love my scale, why it's important when it comes to mixing, um, when it comes to baking, that it's really important to actually have a scale so that you've got proper measurements. Okay, there we go. All right, couldn't have done that any better if I tried. All right, and now I'm gonna just take the bowl out. Just gonna show you guys here. We've got the uh, lemon zest. We've got a little bit of lemon cello. We've got a half of a cup of, of uh, sugar. We have three quarters of a cup of butter. And we have a cup of the cottage cheese. And that's all happening there. I'm gonna take my baking soda uh, and I'm gonna add it to my bowl. Now I am normally, when it comes to this recipe, I use regular uh, salted butter. Because of that, I am omitting any salt in here. If you're gonna use an unsalted butter, you're gonna use a half of a teaspoon of salt instead. So I am using my small, uh, the smallest um, strainer, and that's what I use normally when it comes to sifting. And I've got my flour in there. I'm also going to take a big scoop of pea protein and I'm as well going to sift that through, and I'm just gonna use one scoop of that, uh, add it to it. I know it sounds silly to add maybe pea protein to something like this, but I like to combat, the fact that I'm using cheese anyhow, I'm getting some protein in there, but anything with uh, sugar content, uh, anything that's a treat like this, I do like to still add some pea protein um, and have some goodness into it. So I've got that mixed in here. I'm gonna just slowly, ugh, once again, there we go, close that up. Keep that at a low mix. And get all that goodness mixed together. Now, again, I've got my, um, I have my pan on the, in the oven as we speak. I am still going to spray it with a kitchen spritzer. I'm gonna bring you guys along so you guys can see that. I'm just gonna give this one extra little mix. And then I'll show you what the batter looks like. It's got that creaminess to it because of the fact that it's got the cheese, it's got some eggs, so, and it's got the pea protein in there. Let me just mix that in here, and then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like, and then we're gonna go to the oven. Now this is gonna cook on a 350 degree oven, 
and it's going to cook for approximately an hour. Um, and again, everyone's ovens are different. I normally set mine to 50 minutes and then periodically check it after the 50 minute mark. I am going to lay a piece of tin foil on top because I don't want it to get super, super brown, but I want the insides to be cooked. I'm gonna show you what the batter looks like, okay? So it's a nice thick cake batter there. And I'm gonna take you along here to the oven. So I'll turn you around for a second. There we go. So I've got my pan here in the oven. Okay, it's already got the heat. Now I'm gonna use my kitchen spritzer and I'm just gonna pump it to get the pressure going in it. This is just a vegetable oil. You can use any oil that you might use, avocado, coconut. Um, and I'm just gonna spray it right into my pan, giving that a good coat so it will not stick. Now, fun fact, you wanna let out your pressure and then do it back up and then your lid will snap back. You don't want the pressure to um, expand the bottom of it, so you always want to make sure that you get that pressure out. Okay, so I'm just going to put my batter right inside my pan, my nice hot pan. You can kind of, I don't know if you guys can, but you can kind of hear it sizzling. I'm just going to spray that down, or spread that down, not spray, we just spray. There we go. All right. Mm, so good. All right. We're gonna close that up. I'm gonna put a piece of tin foil and I'm just gonna lay it over the top. Just a little comes up. I'm not tucking it, I'm not doing anything, I'm just laying it over, okay? And now I'm gonna set my timer for 50 seconds, or 50 minutes. Now, um, we're gonna need a little bit of icing on the top. I mean, it is, it is cake. So we're gonna need a little bit of icing. So we're gonna quickly whip up an icing to go with our delicious uh, lemon pound cake with our secret ingredient. And we're going to take the mixer, move that over, okay? So we've got our icing sugar, basic icing sugar and lemons. And I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of the lemon cello in there. So we need um, about a cup of the icing, like powdered sugar. Okay, I'm going to add a cup of that. Now I'm just using my silicone bowls. Uh, I love my silicone bowls for icing because A, I can mix in it and B, uh, I can pour out of it as well. Okay, so I've got powdered sugar. I have two tablespoons of lemon juice and a half of a teaspoon of lemon zest. So I'm just gonna zest the lemon right into here. I'm gonna use uh, um, about half of a lemon zest when it comes to this. And then for the actual cake itself, after the cake has cooled, and you're gonna let this cake cool afterwards, still in the pan, for about an hour on your cooling rack. Don't take it out of the pan for that hour. It's still gonna cook a little bit on its own in the pan, and you want it to get evenly cooked. So you wanna leave something like this in your pan for about an hour, and then when you pop it out, let it cool maybe another 10, 15 more minutes, then you can ice it, okay? Okay, so we've got our lemon zest, sitting right on top of our icing. And then we're going to need um, a half of, sorry, two tablespoons of lemon juice. So what did I do with our, 
I'm gonna take one squeeze of our limoncello, and then I'm gonna take some more of our lemons. Goodness, I feel like I'm losing everything here. And I'm gonna squeeze out maybe close to a tablespoon and play around. If it's too thick, I add more juice. If it's too thin, I can add more powdered sugar. I'm gonna use the all-purpose spreader. You want it not too thin, not too thick. Right now, that's not enough. Not even mixing. So I'm gonna add some more juice to that. There go. And then, like I said, we're gonna let this cool. It's gonna cook in the oven for about 50 minutes. Uh, 47 more now. Um, and then we're just gonna let that cool for about an hour before we take it out of the pan. And then we will add the icing. Goodness gracious, hot mess. Or klutzy, or both. Uh, all right, let's squeeze some more there. And there we have it. We're gonna have a lemon pound cake with our hidden ingredient of cottage cheese with a little bit of Greek yogurt. We're gonna let that sit and then we're just gonna glaze that with our gorgeous lemon icing. How great is that? So. This recipe is gonna be over on the VI Peeps page. Uh, like I said, it's an exclusive recipe I've been working on. Um, absolutely delicious. Uh, can't wait for you guys to try it and let me know how you enjoy it as well. Uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, sorry I missed you last week. A Little bit busy, but so glad that you're here and stay tuned for this gorgeous lemon pound cake uh, with our piece de resistance and including a delicious lemon cello uh, icing that we've got going on there. So have a great rest of your Wednesday. See you on over onto the VI Peeps page. And anybody who has placed an order on the sale last week, your order is ready here to be pick picked up. If you've got mystery bags, same thing, and uh, we will see you all very soon. Have a great rest of your Wednesday.